Five years ago, on April the 8th, 2014, Microsoft discontinued support for the, at the time, 12-year-old operating system. Windows XP enjoyed a very popular RAM, and it didn't have a new version to compete against it for a whole five years. That was until the introduction of Windows Vista, when it hit the shelves in 2006. Windows Vista was not very successful to begin with, and this was because it was quite slow and unstable. So, many computer manufacturers still preloaded their systems with XP. That was until the introduction of Windows 7, which was released in 2009. If you still use Windows XP, either at home or in your place of work, you are not alone. According to netmarketshare.com, Windows XP is currently in 5th place with quite a staggering 3.35% of the overall operating system usage. I say a staggering 3.35% because that means that several million households or businesses still own a computer that runs Windows XP and surfs the internet with it. The purpose of this video will look at what you can do to minimise security risks to your machine and see if it's still possible to use Windows XP today, as well as some free alternatives. Browsing the web is something that is very important for modern life, and when it was first released, Windows XP had many innovations in web connectivity over previous versions. XP comes preloaded with Internet Explorer 6 in its first release, then Internet Explorer 8 in its latest version. The 8th ver the eighth version sorry, of Microsoft's browser was released in back in 2009. This was when Windows 7 had just hit the shelves and it has not aged even remotely as well as Windows 7. It is known by many as the slowest browser they have ever used, and I believe they were correct, it is horrendously slow. Today it struggles to load most web pages, with some websites even reminding the user that their browser is out of date. A good alternative to all this comes in the form of Mozilla's Firefox browser. The most current version for Windows XP is 52.9.0, which is the extended service release. It's easy to install and you can also import data from other browsers that you currently use. It loads web pages very quickly and well, but it is also out of date, as is all popular browsers for XP, but in my opinion it is without a doubt the best modern browser that's still available for this antiquated system. Security is a major example of why it is important to have a modern operating system. There are a few ways you can somewhat protect yourself though. Avast Antivirus is a well-established, reliable and all-round decent antivirus program. It has a dedicated version just for Windows XP, a link to that is in the description. It has a feature named Smart Scan, which looks at all kinds of security issues that you may not even have even heard of. It also comes with an internet security program which tells you which sites are safe and which aren't so you can prevent yourself from being infected in the first place. This feature is optional of course for privacy reasons. There is also an Avast Safe Bios program which is also optional and that is built to ensure that you're not being ripped off when making online purchases. The age and hardware of your machine dictates how fast or slow this program will run. I have set up the machine that you are seeing on the screen now to emulate the typical hardware found in a machine of the era. The installer is very straightforward as you can see, and it doesn't take long, long to install, so long as you have a good internet connection. Avast is a very good antivirus program that is available for all modern operating systems currently dating back to Windows XP Service Pack 3. As I say, a link will be included in to their main website and to the one they have dedicated to Windows XP. An alternative to Avast that may be better for older computers is Malwarebytes. It is a light, easy to use program that still receives the latest malware definition updates as of the time of recording. I use the premium version on my everyday machine as it has been very useful to me in the past. 
As you can see, before each scan it will update itself just to keep on top of any threats as they develop. CCleaner is a great tool for freeing up hard drive space, much better than the built-in disk cleanup tool as it outperforms it almost every time. CCleaner also comes loaded with a software updater and many other useful tools, and it also still fully supports Windows XP. Gaming on Windows XP is difficult. The hardware will not be able to load most modern programs, and the undisputed king of PC gaming, Steam, Installs OK, but it seems that Steam does not work with XP, as it comes up with an error each time it tries to load its UI. A system reboot did not resolve this. Now, from something that doesn't support XP to something that does. This is VLC Media Player. It's much better than the one included in XP, as it's faster, secure and also likely profits. It's a non-profit and completely open source. You can use it for quite a lot, from media file conversion to listening to an audio file, to simply playing your favourite DVD. As for productivity and word processing, there are a few options. Microsoft Office 2010 is the latest version that will work with Windows XP, and that too is going out of support very soon. An alternative is LibreOffice. Although their latest version no longer supports XP, the version that does is easily found in their archives, which is version 5.4. It works well and allows you to create and edit documents as you would in Office. Here we see their equivalent to a Word document and some of its basic features that you can use. It also has many other programs. One, made, one is named Impress, ironically impressed me with its similarities to Office's PowerPoint. There are many other features to LibreOffice, so if you haven't already, I suggest you check it out. LibreOffice is a volunteer-driven, community-powered project that is one of the best Office suites out there, and best of all, it's completely free. A link to it will be included in the description, as well as links to its archives. Remember, version 5.4 is the latest version that will work with XP. Now it's time to look at how to make your systems much more secure and stable. The fact is, if you wish to upgrade your Windows version, the fastest system would be Windows 7. However, that goes out of support in 2020. Windows 10 is, a, is an alternative, however this cutting edge operating system rarely supports the very old hardware that came with Windows XP. Computers are also much cheaper than they once were during Windows XP's heyday, averaging about three to six hundred pounds in the United Kingdom. One possible alternative to this is to upgrade to a Linux distribution. Ubuntu is one of the best in the world. It has a modern looking user interface and its security is completely unparalleled. With being in use with militaries, governments and many other organisations around the globe. It's also completely free with a request of an optional donation. Linux itself can be described a bit like say bread or pasta. You can shape it any way you like, you can make your own varieties, and it is incredibly simple to use. Um, it solely depends on what kind of distribution you are going to use. So say for example Zorin OS Lite, that is an extremely simple and straightforward system, um, and it is specifically designed for older computers. Elementary OS is designed basically for first time users in mind. Um, it is incredibly simple and it is very easy to get along with. Ubuntu has to be my personal favourite because when I was about 13 or 14, the first time I was introduced to Linux, it was it came in the form of Ubuntu. Um, and to be honest, I was quite surprised. I thought it was this big, scary, complicated operating system that um, like only extremely advanced nerds who knew how to use but um, I mean I got along with it just fine and that's not just because I'm a nerd it's because it's actually a really good system 
and in a future video I'll be demonstrating how to install this on a system and a bit more about Linux as a whole really, trying to explain it um, for what it is. So I do hope you enjoyed this video and I do hope you join me for that video as well. If you enjoyed this um, video you can press subscribe and the little bell icon um, as this will notify you when future videos are released on my channel and it also gives me a bit of motivation as well for future videos. So I do hope you enjoyed this video and until next time thank you all very much for watching and goodbye.